All right, so RNG testing continues. Let's test out the randomly generated component of Labyrinth. I've done it before. It's pretty basic. Let's go. Oh, I have to. Oh, these are just the small maps. It's the exact same load screen every time, though. <laughs> so funny. It's like, why change things? Is this a dark setting? Oh, that's a new RNG. The moon is not here. It's there, but it's a lot weaker. See, am I crazy? Let me check the old thing. Oh my god. It actually is. So this is a random element right here. The moon is actually um, not as strong in this uh, generation of it. My glow sticks still drop, about the same brightness. The throw mechanic is still there. And what I learned last time was the outer edge was my highway. There's like these lines of paths you need to go just to get to your objective and right now I'm supposed to be picking up medallions you pop in five medallions similar to chapter two and you're in and these medallions are always always in a building or on top of a structure off the ground it's never on the ground itself So checking the random left so glow stick. If we go to a lantern here, this is good for immediate lighting, like around your feet. This is good for directional lighting, like in the distance. Now I want to tell you that the the brand of battery used for these flashlights is hot garbage. Here we go. We got a spawn on the table and a spawn on a shelf. It's also a third. Oh wow. A third spawn right here. What were the odds of that? One, two, three. Those are the three possible spawn locations in this building. This piece of paper could spawn here. Or it could spawn here. On this desk. That's the uh, difference. The RNG difference here. <laughs> Let me look at our objectives. We found three of the five. Now, you'd be amazed, but a straight line goes a long way in a maze. We have literally just going straight lines in these mazes, and they're highly effective at solving them. Don't make random turns here and there. Keep going straight till you can't. Then hit the wall, and then keep turning, and then you're eventually bump into a building. Trying to stay against the wall here. This is the hedge mage portion of the maze. Where it got narrow. Because this is a different. Oh, there's the monster over there. Just to my left. Monster's right over here. Now, usually the monster is always near one objective. That bench, just cosmetic. Wow. The monster is very close to me.
see it. <laughs> you can kind of see it with the glow stick. It has a giant mace on its back and it's going to smack you with it and instantly kill you. So because we know where the monster's at, we can go free brazen over here. Ooh la la. dead end. You see how we keep hitting the outer walls? The outer walls are going to have the most dead ends, but it also give you the most success on a building. The buildings are always spawned in corners of the maze. Always, always, always. There's never a building in the dead center. Also, the exit to this maze. We can start at the entrance. The exit is on an outer wall. Always outermost wall. So when finding the exit you go to the outermost wall and you just walk around the, the square of a maze until you find it. Okay now we're in a new spot. Check the damages here. Ah uh, you see this? Higher than the maze. That is our next spot we need to go to. The building is slightly taller. So you can find it a lot easier. It's over here. Yes. Okay, good stuff. Gotta keep going till we get enough turns. I'm gonna tell you, monsters always near objective. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to walk around. There we go, let's go around. Oh, another dead end. Lovely. Yep, that's the ruin symbol monster. He has ruins on him. When they're lit up, he kills. When they're not lit, you know, darkened. He does not kill. You need to time your movements between then. And once you line of sight him, you're safe to move normally. But don't be precarious around the edges. The edges are a little wonky with the line of sight. You have to make sure you go far enough past the edge. Can I believe I have to walk all the way around just because the monster's camping there? <laughs> Do you see this garbage? Why did I didn't even move? <laughs> did not even move. I was standing still, still gets attacked. Monster just hates my gut. So now I'm gonna go to the other building in this maze. And whoop, there it goes. Boom. There's two more buildings I have to visit, because since three of them was in one visit, that means the other two buildings have one in one. I need toggle sprint in this game. <laughs> you normally have to hold down sprint in order to sprint. Where's my toggle sprint, man? Look how far you have to go around just to get to something. Attempt number three. I mean, you can barely see the door, it's so dark.
Here's the other RNG spawn I mentioned earlier for the note. Oh my god, wow, this is extremely rare. Normally it's one to three, in, with one being the more prominent sign. Wow, all five seals, I cannot believe that. So since the doorway's in the bottom left over here, that means the exit is the top right in this direction. So we go up and to the right the most. Until you hit the dead end. That's when you know. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Stay away from me. Wow. Wow. Stay away from me. Back up. Uh huh. Over there. Can you get away from my path, sir? Rev up those ruins a lot. Yeah, safe way to know is when he's moving, you can move. It's a pretty safe way if you're not sure if the ruins are off. Because he's only in attack mode. Basically when his runes are up and standing still. That's his basic attack mode. Now you'd be surprised how quickly he'll get over to you after you leave him. I'm pretty certain this monster has, you know, knows exactly where you are and gravitates towards where you're walking. But if you have multiple people, then it's, uh, it could be RNG, really. <laughs> you don't know who he's going to follow. So this is the start. So now I need to go over. Come on. I need to get to the rightmost side to find this maze. Dead in. So one left, then a right again. Now we are backtracking right to the monster. Another dead end. Another dead end. Hmm. 
Where are we? Oh, well, this looks new. Oh, <laughs> according to glow sticks, it is not new. Ah, oh, here we go. This looks promising. Long pathway. Long, long pathway. So promising. Oh, exit. Where are you? Exit, exit, exit. Where are you? Here we go, the exit. Time taken, 15 minutes. Wow, such a weak amount of XP. <laughs> Alright, that's how you do it, guys.